Hello guys and greetings from Greece. This is Petros and today I will be doing a, a quick review of the different models that you get with the Antelope Audio's Edge Solo Modeling Mic. For the beginning I'm using the mic as a simple large diaphragm contestor mic and this is how it sounds. It's a very clear microphone and uh, you will never have any problems recording whichever source you want with this mic. It's very very clear. I think it's totally characterless. Uh, some people think it's okay, some people think it doesn't like it. Personally for recording in the studio, for recording my own things, I, fi I find it very very good. So this is the Edge Solo mic, Antelope Audio's Edge Solo mic. Just clean without any modeling and this is how it sounds. And let's go on to the first model. This is the Tokyo 800T. Everybody knows which is this model, a very used model in all the studios, all the big studios around the world. A mic that costs a lot, a lot of money, and now you can get, you can get it, you can get something like it, or you can get it uh, using the Antelope Audio's Edge Solo mic. And this is how it sounds. I will uh, be talking to each microphone for a little bit, just to show you how this thing sounds, how this model, how its model sounds. Uh, a very nice tool. Uh, I'm very happy with the solo mic because uh, it can give me different sounds so I can fit many different voices. Let's go on to the next model, which is the Berlin 47 FT. Everybody knows this uh, brand of microphones, this German brand of microphones. Uh, the 47 is a microphone well used, uh, more used in the past, but it's also used now in studios. And this is how the model of the 47 sounds through the Antelope Edge Solo mic. Very interesting, very interesting. You see that the microphones, uh, uh, the microphones that are here in this collection are kind of in the expensive side. I never used uh, uh, most of these mics in the past, the real models. Uh, but for two or three models that I've used in the past, I think that Antelope's modeling is very, very close. Uh, you can judge by yourself. Let's go on to the next mic, which is uh, the Berlin again. You know what Berlin means? The Berlin 67. It's a, a microphone used totally everywhere. There are vintage versions. There are new versions of this mic. When you see it, you just don't ask for anything else. This mic is enough by itself to capture voices, acoustic instruments, pianos, whatever. This is how it sounds through the Antelope Audio's Edge Solo model. This is the Berlin 67. Let's go on to the next model. The next model will be the Berlin again, 87. You see, the differences are not so obvious, they are very subtle, but uh, this is also true with real microphones. If you got here a 67 and an 87, the difference would not be that big. The difference would not be that flashy, and I like this from Antelope. I would not like them to uh, create big differences between microphones just to show that they've done something. They've done what they should have done, and this is it. These are the differences. The differences are subtle. Let's go to the next model, which is the Berlin 103. Again, a very popular mic, a little bit cheaper, used in many, many of the new home studios. A very nice mic, a, a mic that doesn't need many things to say about it. And this is very good that Antelope Audio brought this mic to us with the Antelope Edge Solo modeling mic. And let's go on to the next model. The next model is the Berlin again, 49T. Very nice tube, expensive microphone. A great microphone for many things, for tracking vocals, for tracking acoustic guitars. Very warm, very nice. This is how it sounds through Antelope Audio's modeling. And it's great, it's fantastic. I like it. And let's go on to the next mic, which is the Berlin 57 Again, a famous mic from Berlin's, I will not say the real name, collection. And uh, it came to us through Antelope Audio's Edge Solo modeling mic. Uh, I had the chance to use this microphone once. 
Uh, it was a great occasion and uh, it sounded really good. Okay, to be honest, all the other things in that studio were great, so I don't know what exactly sounded good and what sounded better and what sounded, but uh, this mic is uh, guaranteed that you will get good sounds out of it. Very, very nice mic, and I think it's well modeled by Antelope Audios. I can't compare it really because I don't have the all the outboard gear that this studio had, so my opinion would be would not be so precise and so objective. And let's go on to the next mic. Next mic, the Vienna 12. Great, it's fantastic. It's a great mic. Uh, it's a very expensive mic too from another company, uh, Austrian this time. You know which mic it is. It's a fantastic mic used in many, many studios. It's great and it's cool, totally cool looking too. This is how it sounds through Antelope Audios and solo modeling. And let's go on to the next mic, which is the Vienna again. Everybody knows which company Vienna is. 414. You know what the 414 is. It's uh, used everywhere uh, for recording acoustic instruments, for recording voices. Mostly for I've seen it mostly for acoustic instruments. Uh, uh, many times used uh, as a pair with another one, and uh, it's a great mic. Obviously, you cannot get all the Polar, the polar patterns of this microphone with the Edge Solo, as we have only one diaphragm here, uh, so you get only the cardioid one. Uh, but I think it's very good, and I think it's uh, it's a microphone I used in the past, so I know that uh, it's very close to the original. The Antelope Edge Solo modeling on this mic is pretty, pretty close to the original. Let's go on to the next mic. The next mic is the uh, Berlin again, V. 563. Really, I have not used that mic. I don't know this mic, um, but uh, it sounds cool on my ears. I told you that the differences are subtle. The differences are not so audible, uh, but this is the truth. Antelope Audio didn't try to show off and really tried to really capture the feeling and the sound of the originals. Let's go to the next mic. The next mic is the Illinois 57. Everybody knows what this mic is. This is a dynamic mic. This is a totally different mic. I've done a comparison between the model and the original one. You can find it on my channel. The 57 is a 57. Everybody has got a 57. All the studios has got it, have got it. Uh, you can use it in everything, on everything. Uh, this is how it sounds through Antelope's modeling. And let's go on to the next mic. The next mic is the Illinois 7B. You know what is the Illinois, you know this mic. Uh, mic used uh, from by, by all the podcasters earlier and now used also by singers in many, many uh, occasions. I see it. Many people th sing through it. Very nice dynamic mic, needs a lot of power, needs a lot of gain through the preamps and uh, so you have to take care of this if you buy this. Some of you, depending on your, uh, depending on your uh, audio interface, uh, might want to buy some cloud lifter or something to, to bring the gain up. Uh, but with Antelope Audios and Solo Modeling, you don't need that. You've got the 7B without cloud lifters, without taking your gain up to the skies and you just use it. Let's go on to the next mic. The next mic is the Minnesota 20. We're going to another company. This is also a very nice podcasting mic uh, used by many, many people. I see it uh, very, very uh, many, many times uh, on YouTube videos. Uh, a great mic. I've never used it. I don't know. I'm not interested in this type of mics. They don't um, mean something for me. Uh, but a mic that I see in many mic lockers and, of course, uh, it's a mic, it's a good mic. Uh, let's go on to the next mic, which is the Vienna 112. This is a, another type of mic totally. Everybody knows this mic too. It's a 112. It is used mainly for uh, kick drums, but many people use it uh, also for uh, other instruments, uh, but it's magical on the, on the kick drums. Uh, I heard it in the past. I've heard it. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any kick drums here. I tried it on a cajon. Let's go on to the next mic. This is the Berlin K86. Here the change is very, very obvious, especially after the 112, which is a totally different mic. Very nice mic from the German company and very nicely modeled by Antelope Audio. This is the Antelope Edge Solo mic modeling the K86 from the German company. And let's go on to the next mic. The next mic is again, is again a mic from Berlin. This is the 47 tube mic from uh, Berlin, from the German company. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, I don't know the differences, I have never tried the original, but this is how the Antelope's model sounds. And I hope uh, you will find that it is close to the original. And let's go on to the next mic. The next mic is the Berlin again, the German company M251. I had never used this microphone too. I see it, uh, I see many copies of this mic from uh, many big companies try to make a mic like this. It's a very nice mic. Uh, it sounds very good to my ears. Uh, the difference is again subtle, uh, but uh, I find it very good. And you know what, as I said before, I don't want, I, of course, of course I would love to, but I'm not expecting all the mics to be 100% uh, as the originals. I just want different sounds to match everybody's voice with a mic. And uh, I can get it with the Antelope Audio's Edge Solo modeling mic. Uh, so the last microphone for today is the Hamburg 441. You know what the Hamburg is, you know 441, a very strange mic, a very nice mic. I've seen it in many studios, it's an older mic, an older model mic, and uh, many people were using it. Never had the chance to hear the original too, but this is how the Antelope Audio's modeling uh, sounds for this mic. I hope it is close, of course. I don't know if it is or not, you can tell me. It's For me, it's another timber for my studio. It's another mic from my studio. I don't have one mic, the Antelope Audio's mic. Uh, I've got many r real mics here with no models from Rode, from uh, Bayer Dynamic, from TC Helicon, from AKG, from MXL. Uh, but here I've got also 18 microphones. I consider that I have 18 microphones plus. It is an equalizer curve, of course. It's not a real mic, but it is a different sound to my ears and there is a different use for this mic. And I will go back to the Edge Solo with no model supplied, so as to, yes. And this is the Edge Solo with no model supplied. And this is it, guys. This was my review of the Edge Solo modeling mic from Antelope Audio. These are all the available models. I hope they can put on a later upgrade, maybe some more models, maybe they can do it 25. It would be a very nice thing for Antelope to do. Uh, it's great, uh, consider that you really have 18 mics and uh, consider that you can uh, fit every single voice or instrument with these sounds. It's very easy, you don't have to change mics, you don't have to take in cables, take out cables. With a push of a button you really have the next uh, uh, mic that you want until you find the mic that really fits your purpose. Thank you very much for watching guys. Greetings from Greece. And uh, please subscribe on my channel because I'll be doing uh, many more reviews, many more comparisons. You can listen to my original stuff. You can listen to my original songs. You can listen to my covers. I want to help through this channel as many people uh, as I can uh, who want to build their own home studios and they're trying to find solutions for everything.